Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install PostgreSQL Server 17.6 on Windows 10 and 11 or servers. But the process is same on all Windows versions. Okay, first go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. Hit enter. See here, at the time of installation, latest release is 17.6. You can click on download or click on download, both are same. Then select Windows. Then click on download the installer. See here the latest release is 17.6. Okay. Then select this download button under this Windows X86 64 bit. Click on download. No need to register. See download start. See here download started and its size is 348 megabytes. Wait until download completes. Once download completes, then we will install the CXE file. See download is completed. Now click on the CXE file. Click on next. See this is the installation directory. If you want some other, click on this browse button and select the path where you want to install. Then click on next. See here, now we have to select the components. See by default it has selected process equal server, which means type builder, command line tools. See if you go to, if you click on command line tools, see it is going to install these tools. Okay, if you click on stack builder, see stack builder is used to download additional drivers and tools. Okay. PG admin is the GUI tool for the PostgreSQL server. PostgreSQL is the main tool. Okay. I want to install all. So select all and click on next. See, this is the data directory location. If you want some other, click on browse and select the path. Okay. Then click on next. Now we have to set the password for SOAP user. That is Postgres. Remember this password. Later we need this password to log in. Then click on next. See, this is the default port for the PostgreSQL server. Okay, click on next. Local settings. I am going with the defaults, but you can select from this list. Then click on next. See, this is the free installation summary. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on install. Otherwise, if you want to modify any one of, any one of these options, you have to click on back and you can edit. Okay, I am okay with these settings. Then click on next. Ready to install. See, installation has been started. This will take time. I am going to pause this video. After installation, we will connect to process equal server and we will create database and users. Okay. See completing the process equal setup wizard and also see here if you want to launch the stack builder at exit. You have to keep the checkbox and you have to click on finish. Otherwise, unselect it. Later, if you want to open the stack builder, go to all applications. And then go to process equal folder. See here we have the process equal 17. See here we have the application stack builder. Okay, this is the way to open. Okay. Now unselect it and click on finish. Now we will connect to process equal server. First we will connect by using PSQL shell. Then we will connect by using PG admin. Go to start all applications. Process equal. See here we have the PSQL shell and PG admin. Okay, first connect by using this PSQL shell. Provide the server name. Let me increase the font color. Process equal server is installed on this PC, so local host is fine. Hit enter. Database default database comes with process equal is Postgres, so hit enter port 543 enter username postgres then provide the password that we have set for this user that is postgres so provide the password and hit enter see we have successfully connected to process equal server see this is the psql client version not the process equal server version okay but to verify the version of the process equal server we have to run the command select version see we have connected to process equal server 17.5 okay now verify the list of the databases backslash shell See, these are the default databases that comes with process equal installation. But we can also get the list of the databases by running select dat name from pg underscore database. See, we got the same. Okay. Now create a database, create database, then provide the name of the database. See, database successfully created. Now verify the same by running. See, we have the new database bank. Okay. Now 
switch to this database and create a table to switch to database you have to use backslash cr backslash connect either is same okay then provide the name of the database see you are now connected to database bank as user postgres okay now verify list of tables backslash dt see you don't have any tables let us create table create Yes, my one name only do. I'm the good good there. Now verify the same. See, we have created a table in public schema. This is the name of the table. This is the type of the object, and this is the owner of the table. Now insert some data into this table. See, we have inserted these rows. Now, verify list of users and create user. See, we have only one user that is Postgres. Let us create user. You can also get the list of the users by running select username from pg underscore user. See, we got the same. Now, create user, create user. Whatever is there in single or double quotes, it is the password. Now verify the same. See, we have created user David. See, okay. Now we will connect process equal server with this new user. So open another PSQL shell. Here we have to give the username. Username is David. Then provide the password that we have set for this user. See, we have successfully connected. Let us verify the currently logged in user. Select current underscore user. See, we have successfully logged into the process equal server with the user David. Okay. Now we will connect process equal server from the PG admin. See, here we have the PG admin port. Open it. See, it's opening PG admin for. See, by default, it has added connection. If it is not, then right click, then select register, then select server. Now we have to give this any name PG17.6. Then here in connection, we have to give local host. Port number is 5432 maintenance database. We have the same maintenance database postgres, username postgres. Okay, then provide the password of this user. Then we have to click on save. See, we have successfully connected. Right click on any, see we have database that here. See, see we have the database bank that is created by us. Okay. And if you want to see the logins, see this is the user that you have created. If you want to run queries against this database, right click and select the query tool. Now we can run the queries. Okay. If you want to create database, again right click on databases, then select create then database okay and if you want to go to schemas tables see here we have the table that we have created okay how in the last step that i want to show you is how to stop start and restart process equal server on windows operating systems go to services dot msc then press p see here we have the process equal 17 see its status is running okay if you want to stop click on this stop link or stop button if you want to restart select restart or restart okay or right click and select the stop or restart okay so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure process equal server 17.6 on windows 10 or 11 or servers 
okay for more post tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you